what's up? How's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw King Boo from, uh, you know, Mario Kart and Super Mario and all this stuff. So it's going to be simple. We're going to be using this uh, Crayola brand marker and uh, regular printing paper. So I figure this is kind of Halloween-esque, right? So it is a ghost. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a large curve, right? He's got a very circular, you know, look to him, obviously. He's got a very round look. So right here I'm going to try to draw... Maybe like that much of a circle, you know, because it's going to run into his hand over here. And we're going to draw his little nub of a hand. Okay. And uh, through that, I'm going to continue the circle just a tad over here. Just a tad. Out. Line over here kind of connecting that circle again so he has that little tail that little ghost tail I'm gonna go to this side over here and I'm gonna draw his other nub see that nub right here the hand I'm gonna draw that on the far side line over here for the crown line over here for the other side of the crown down I'm gonna draw a large peak circle at the top of each crown point and two little crystals there let's go over here to the eyes and it's going to be like a U shape right here starting because he's going to have this kind of like expression he always has this expression here like one U and another U shape. So below that we're gonna have eyes. Right? Like you can kinda see half those circles. Sorry, there's a dog barking outside. I don't know if you can hear it. And I'm gonna leave a circle in there, like a smaller circle for the highlight. Let's pull out the smile here. So right below that's gonna be a smile shape. line like so and it's gonna be the bottom part of that smile so we're gonna go down get close to the bottom here but not all the way and pull up right there let's draw some teeth at the top Like that. The teeth are really just kind of uh, basically tri uh, triangles aiming downward. And let's draw the mouth, the, sorry, the tongue. So one little hill and another little hill. Going good. So I'm going to fill that in. You can color it in actually if you want, like red or something, but I am just going to fill it in. Like you, can, you can fill it in like dark red, like very dark red. Uh, but I, I don't know. I'm just going to use a marker to fill it in, I think. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a thicker line on the outside border. Sometimes I do that. Just on the outside contour, I'm going to throw a thick, thicker line. And that's to kind of contain the shapes here. But I think for this one, it's going to have like a cooler style if I do that personally. So that's kind of why I'm doing it on this one where I don't do it every single drawing. I used to do it every single drawing, but I'm trying to pull back on that now. I think it could be a crutch. Alrighty. So, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to color it. I'm going to grab uh, two colors in my colored pencils. I'm going to grab an orange, or a yellow, sorry, and a pink. Or, or red. You can do pink or red for the tongue. 
Um, but you can also color in the crystal here. Let's use the pink right here for one crystal. Let's do it for both crystals, actually. I know it's supposed to be blue, but I like it there. And I'm going to color in the tongue here. I'm using Crayola brand colored pencil. Just to, this will, this is, you know, just a part there, right there. And we're going to go over here and I'm going to use this. This is a Rose Art brand. Uh, doesn't really matter about the brand so much. You, what you really want to do is, uh, just find uh well the brand kind of matters because some brands are chalky i think like scholastic is really crummy i don't know that's not that great i, I used to, i still use it occasionally here in some demonstrations but as soon as those scholastics run out i'm never getting any more again but i'm, I'm going to use them up for sure because they're a little bit too chalky this yellow here and i'm actually using golden yellow for this if you want a more specific specifically like what kind of yellow and there's something else you can do. You can grab maybe a blue or something. Oh, no, that blue is not sharp. But you can grab like a blue or a gray or a brown or a dark. I'll grab a gray here. And you can kind of go along the bottom here just a little bit. Just to give them a little bit of shadow here. You can do the, everything you know, aiming downward like lower part of the hands, lower part of the body really. You could kind of do it here maybe in his... Uh, his expression because that's kind of like light would be catching that at the bottom there but you don't you don't really have to so it's kind of your thing I'm a big big Mario fan I don't know if it comes off on the website um, or on this oh by the way go check out the new website um, sketchingeasy.com type that in to your browser sketchingeasy. Dot I hear my cat um, sketchingeasy.com type go into sketchingeasy uh, type that in sketchingeasy.com a lot of tutorials on there, general drawing. There's issues there if you have issues about like maybe keeping your hand steady, you know, if that's an issue. Um, you know, like like having exercises on there that I do almost every day still, honestly, to kind of warm up my hand. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. I'm so excited for Halloween. Share the video. When you share the video, well, if you liked it, please consider sharing the video. Uh, you can share it anywhere, Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, anywhere. I want to bring in the Halloween spirit really early, and so I'm like, the more you share, the more Halloween spirit comes rolling in. So anyways, that's pretty much it. I will see you in the next video. Uh, but yeah, say hi to me. I'll say hi to you in the comments, and that's pretty much it. I'm so happy to be working on the channel again for the next few months, so talk to you later.